There's a lot of new changes coming to Albion Online and I wanted to share with you what those are. So first off, there are some missed changes. The first things first is that there are different types of missed chests. So instead of the chests just spawning and everyone fighting over one chest and one guy getting the loot, there's something called coffers, which are uh, basically, they're a new type of treasure chest and they look just like the open world treasures, but they are not known on the map. So you have to manually ride around the mists to find these. They won't just show up on your mini map at all. Alright, and another cool thing too is um, by holding shift and pushing in, this isn't in the game yet, but it's coming. There's something called travel mode. Alright, and this thing is really neat, which I don't know why it's off-center, but, um, uh, yeah, I really don't know why it's off-center like that, but essentially, um, you can change the transparency of the, of the overworld map so you can see it while you move around. This is huge. This is really, really nice, but again, I don't know, I don't know how to move this. Like, there's no way for me to scoot it over, so still in the works, I guess, at least, uh, I don't know the hotkey to move it, but... Uh, we're going to try to find some of these these coffers. There's also caches, which uh, apparently these mob camps now are changed. So I'm going to try this out. Yes, I am in full 8.3 in the black zone mist. I know, it's a test realm. Hopefully no one rolls up on me, but there's no there's no market right now. Oh, the, the life bars look different. Look, there's like a, a white... Whoever you're targeting has like a white outline on the health bars now. That's really neat. Look at that, if I target this guy, like, I'm gonna hurt him. There's no white outline, but now there's a white outline. That's so useful! Bro, whenever I'm killing, like, ten... Oh, there's one. There's a little cachet there. Look, I completed the camp. No, I didn't complete the camp. Uh, I can't open this cachet until I complete the camp. So, it's kinda interesting, I guess, in that regard, huh? I don't know, let's just nuke down the mobs real quick. They're super easy with the with this, this gear. But, um, yes, whenever I'm AOEing down, like, ten mobs at a time, it's hard to tell who I'm targeting sometimes without looking up here and knowing what the mobs are called. So this is insanely useful. Also, these guys still hurt me, even though I'm in 8.4 armor. Uh, <laughs> alright, so we completed, uh, the camp. We got the, the bonus fame and all that. Let's see, this is a cache. You get these now for completing the camp. And, uh, ooh. Ew, that's gross. That sucked. Now, they did mention that um, they did nerf the fame a bit from everything else. I think it's cool that, like, okay, so here's the thing, right? Whenever I did mists, I would use, like, a crappy flat 5 set. And I would go and clear these camps, and then there would always be, like, an 8.3 or 8.4 player waiting inside to kill me. So now what happens is that um, I, can, I, can f I can fame farm with something more useful... And then take these little fame tomes and um, apply them to whatever I want. So I think I like that change, actually. I'm going to say that's a win for us. Uh, so I'm going to do another one. Let's open another cache. So now that I think about it a bit, it makes these caches a little easier to camp. Because, I'm like, the first person to clear the camp is going to get this, right? I don't think it's available to every player. So if you're a PvPer, uh, you just camp these caches. And, uh, you know, you just, anyone who wants to, like, start clearing, you, you just rep and gank them. I don't know. Also, uh, Brazilian rep now has a use. I'll get into that later, but they, they increased the standing, okay? So right now, I don't play much mists, but I'm at favored. 352,000 rep. The maximum rep has been raised to 10 million. By the way, due to the changes in the mists, these little wisps have been nerfed. So when you rescue them, I mean, you still get the same rep, but... The fame is only 4,559 now. That's uh, that's on par with the the current yellow zone <laughs> dungeon fame gains. They used to be like eight or nine thousand. Now I could be wrong on that. Okay, I haven't done a mist in a quite a while, so I don't know if that's the current values. But that's what the patch notes are kind of hinting at that they nerfed fame gains across the board around it because of the caches and the coffers that you'll find. Maybe not the coffers. I think those are just treasure. But um. Uh, definitely the weakened wisps. These are apparently super nerfed too, so let's let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and rescue this little boy. So apparently this reward has also been nerfed for the fame. I don't know about the other stuff, but let's see what we get. Uh, 24,000, that does seem a little crappy, but um, I don't know. Also, let's compare. This is a legendary mist. I think this is a tier 7 legendary mist. Uh, let's see, 15k. I don't know, maybe they didn't nerf those. Oh no, this is a tier 8. This is a tier 8 legendary. This is as good as it gets. So let's clear the mob camp and see what the cache drops for us in a tier 8 legendary. I totally messed up my rotation there, but that's fine. 
Now these guys should be pretty easy in <laughs> full 8.3, 8.4 gear. Also, the rarities on these caches can be different. They are not all the same. Uh, it's not based on camp size. Ew, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Even in a legendary, the, the the text is definitely way bigger now. They've changed something with the tooltips. So 5,000 times 9, that's only like, uh, what is that? It's like 45,000 fame, which I guess isn't that bad. Okay, this one has a blue shimmer, so maybe it's slightly better than the other one. Okay, this one actually had some loot in it, and I, it does that dang glitch where you, if you click on it after it opens, you can't loot. So, I mean, 95, well, that's not really 95k, that's, um... Test realm <laughs> economy. Okay, so apparently the coffers do show up on the map, but you have to ride close to them to see them. So let's pop this bad boy open. And, oh, it's, um, I have to wait 15 seconds to loot it? I guess it just spawned or something? This one has kind of a yellowy glow to it. I don't know if that means it's just because it's locked or what, but let's pop this bad boy open. Uh, <laughs> so if you see players standing still, uh, it might be that. Okay, what was this, blue? I think that was a blue shimmer. Uncommon treasure coffer. Let's see, what do we get? And, uh, it's, ew. <laughs> I'm not impressed by these rules. This is a tier 8 legendary uh, mist, and I'm getting garbage. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> Yay, let's, uh, let's go grab this one now. <laughs> Whoa, okay, this one's got some plants around it. Oh, it's protected for another minute. There we go, we skipped time, and this is a purple one! Okay, rare! This one's gonna be juicy, right boys? Let's see, is it good? It is... No. Not really. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think coffers are, are that good for loot, guys. I think the regular treasure chests are way better. So check it out, they do have a max range. Watch, it'll pop up on the left here. See, it pops up, and then when I run away far enough from this one, it disappears. Though this is the one I've already looted, so that would be, that's kind of annoying that these chests are still showing up on the map, even though they're empty. Uh, well, this one, the chest is actually physically gone from the- Oh, wait, no, there, there it is, never mind. What about on this mode? So, basically, why- Does that pop up where my mouse is? That's- It's so off-center, what in the heck? But, uh, you can see here, maybe when I ride enough, this- I don't know if this map updates, let's see. Yes, okay, so, basically, you're forced to ride around with this if you want to find chests now, I guess. I don't know. Well, you can also look at the bottom, you know, right corner, too, I, I suppose. So when you compare it to a normal open-world chest, like the ones that are technically King of the Hill style, they, they have way more loot. Well, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're doing another check on the rewards. This is a Tier 8 Legendary Mist. You can see here the mobs are Tier 8. Uh, I have a rare Blue Wisp here I'm rescuing, so let's see how much we get for this one. Uh, 114k, which, um... I swear it was like 150k, but whatever. Another tier 8 legendary cache, let's pop it open. Uh, this is the biggest camp I could find, uh, it's, that's what, um, 120,000 fame. There is also a dungeon in the mists now called Nightfall Abbey. Now I have jumped into hundreds of mist portals and I haven't found this thing yet. Apparently it's highly elusive. Um, it doesn't look like anything new on the map either. So I don't know if it's like just a random dungeon that you would run across, or if it's going to be marked on the map, if there's a landmark for it. But I have tried for a very long time now to find this so I can show it off to you, and I just can't find it, so we have to move on. I've got other things to cover on this badge. So there are new capes. There are There is an Avalonian cape and a Brazilian cape. Also, the energy manipulators, which are, if you don't know what that is, that's this little icon on the map. They're pretty much all over the place, but this is where you would go to spend your favor or mites or whatever these little icons are. I, n I can never remember. Uh, they are, no, that's faction warfare. And uh, let's see. Yes, they, that is favor. So this is where you go to spend favor. <laughs> and uh, this is how you craft the Avalonian cape, which I will show you what those look like. Those are pretty cool. So the Avalonian Cape, uh, here it is. And what the Avalonian Cape does is Force Pulse. So whenever you perform a regular attack, you will unleash an AoE that deals 420 damage around you, and it reduces the damage of the enemies by 4 seconds. I think that this will replace Thetford Cape for farming PvE monsters in statics and soloing group dungeons. Because the debuff is nice, and the damage isn't bad, the cooldown is also very short. 
There's also another cape, the Brazilian cape, and this one activates when you cast your helmet ability. This gives you a shield. It's a one minute cooldown though. Uh, it also removes debuffs and grants immunity to debuffs. I think this might be useful for tanks. Um, I'm not really sure where else you might use it right now, but someone smart and creative will figure out a way to make it useful. Also, there is a new vendor in Brazilian. I'll show you where it's at. It's not in the main like town area. You have to go to the kind of upper areas of Brazilian. So we're going to go towards the middle here where the big tree is. And then we're going to go up the stairs here. And uh, this is technically Brazilian, not the not the market area, I guess. And right here in the middle where this flag is, which currently I guess it's a placeholder flag because this is the Care Leone faction flag. I don't know why that's there. There's no tooltip for it. But you'll see this little vendor here called uh, the Artificer. Artificer. And you'll have this new thing. Um, I don't know what this item is called because it's not really named yet. But you spend favor for it. And uh, it's used to craft various things. You can also get the Brazilian crests. Uh, just like you would at a faction vendor. And this is to craft the Brazilian cape we just showed off. So just for tier 4 capes. Here's the tier 4 Brazilian cape. It requires that weird mist energy in a bottle. I don't know. It doesn't have a description yet. And for the Avalonian cape you need... Um, the Avalonian energy, so there you go. You're also going to need this energy thing for the new mounts. There is the Saddled Mystic Owl, you'll need five of those. And then for the Elite Mystic Owl, you'll need 20 of them. And I'll show you what these mounts are. First off is the Saddled Mystic Owl. It has 405 HP, 130% gallop speed, 5 second gallop. Uh, it has reduced carrying capacity by 31 kilograms, which is absolutely nothing at all. Like, why even bother? That is such a low value. I think that they have to buff that or something. There's no reason to... Th that's so tiny. That's incredibly tiny. The Elite Mystic Owl is not much better. 456 HP. It does have a 133 move speed on its gallop, making it the fastest mount in the game by 1% over wolves. <laughs> Only 1%. Now, um, it... it, it allows you to carry 63 kilograms. Again, that is nothing. There's no point in having that at all. Um, its ability is called Glide, which you fly into the air, you're untargetable, unhittable, and you're immune to crowd control for two seconds. 30 second cooldown, um, and then you can cast this ability again to glide towards the targeted position. I don't have a way to access this mount. I don't have 5 million reputation to, bu to buy it and raise it. I'm unable to show you this mount right now. A few other things I want to talk about, uh, so Roads of Avalon had some changes, their elite camps will now spawn faster and they give more fame across elite camp bosses, so they already gave huge amounts of fame but now they give even more. I don't have a way to solo those, unfortunately, these are the elite ones, not the, not, not the solo, not the green chest ones, okay, I can't, so I can't solo them, I can't show you how much more fame they give, I'm sorry. Uh, also, apparently, there's some headquarter changes, but that's for, like, guildies and stuff. I don't really care about that. I'm sorry if you're a guildie and you want to know. If you're a guild master, you already know where to go for this information anyway. They added gender changing. You can now change your gender. Um, so, <laughs> it does, it costs gold, though, to become a girl if you're a boy and so on and so forth. Um, so we can go to female, and um, it costs a <laughs> It costs a thousand gold to change your gender. That's so expensive, man. That is... <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, anyway, that's pretty funny. Oh, and as far as this travel mode map, it, the, the arrow is centered on your character. That's why the map is kind of in a weird position on your screen. One new change is that you can repair from the shop vendor. So, I'm not sure exactly how to do that let me let me unequip this and try to sell it and see what happens so oh there you go so you just hit repair and then you can sell it so that's actually really really nice swift claws received a bit of a nerf their hp is down to 797 the husky received a significant buff it normally had around 430 hp now it has 860 it got twice as beefy Apparently there are new chat settings. I don't know the default chat settings, so I don't know what they've added. But uh, here's basically everything. Uh, maybe they added this take damage, give damage, heal, and spell effect loot. I I again, I don't know what they added, but they added something. So back in the day, if you wanted to see someone's stats, 
uh, that wasn't online, you would have to, like, add them to a friends list. So, like, let's say I wanted to, like, look up E-Quartz stats, so I would type uh, his name backwards. By the way, that's what it is. And then I would send him a friend request, and he his friend list would be full. And then I would be able to click on his profile here, and I guess I misspelled his name. But, um... <laughs> Because <laughs> this isn't him, but um, that's how you would normally uh, look up people uh, uh, Stats, but now you can just type slash stats so I can type slash stats and then type like King Mojo here And I can see King Mojo's account and there we go So I don't have to add people to friends list anymore I can type slash stats and then type one and we could see who he most recently killed which is this poor bloke There you go. Don't have to add people to friends list anymore to see their stats. They added new hotkeys so you can walk up, down, left, and right. Let's try it out. I bound it to my arrow keys. Oh, look at that. I can use arrow keys to move now. People that wanted to play this game with WASD can finally do it. It's real. It's so jinky looking. Look, it's so weird. It's like... I don't know, man. You could probably weird some people out. Like, you can't... You can only move in, you know, eight directions with this. You can't, like... Like, see, I can be smooth with the mouse and janky with the keyboard. <laughs> they made Stalker Jacket less flashy, so, well, it's less red kind of in the middle here. It's still kind of annoying. Cursed Stabs got a nerf on the Vile Curse. It's now 2.4 seconds instead of 2 seconds. It also deals less damage. There's some other cool stuff, too, like uh, the Puddle spell. The Puddle is bigger, and you can throw it further away. The, uh, what is this? The Cursed Sickle spell flies out faster, so... Let's look at the range now. You can throw this sucker pretty far out, and the circle is slightly bigger. That's pretty neat. Uh, also, the Cursed Sickle here, uh, it flies out faster, but it comes back slower. So, I, I mean, that's cool, I guess. You can at least hit them with one of the attacks. Demonic Staff was hugely nerfed in the past, where it ate all of your charges if you used the Fear, making it a pointless weapon. But now, the Fear will only consume two charges and not all four. So, it's still kind of crappy. Fire Staff's Pyroblast went back to being a targeted ability. It is no longer a skill shot uh, that you have to aim anymore. You just click on the enemy and then cast it. However, they can hide behind other players or monsters. Uh, so, that's interesting, I guess. Cultist Cow Enjoyers Rejoice. The damage cannot be reflected anymore, but the tooltip isn't saying that. But the patch notes are, so there you go. Hunter Hood is back down to 85%. It was it was at like back in the day it was 100%, then it went down to like 70 or 75. Then they brought it back up to 100, now it's back down to 85. They just can't make this thing work. It is either too good or, or completely useless. Mercenary Jacket getting some nerfs. The heel uh the the heel went down by a little bit. I don't know how much. I think it's only like 4 or 5 per tick or whatever, but there you go. So Bridge Watch Cape's got to change. So what happens is when you activate your E-slot ability, uh, it it sends the Cyclone all around you instead. So it's, a, it's around you, not on the target. And it slows enemies, lowers their crowd control resistance. So that's interesting. It's, it's for initiation tanks now. So Morgana Cape, when you cast your E-spell ability, it activates before your E-spell ability. So what this means is that you get the cast time and attack speed buff as you push your E button, so crossbow, snipe, you know, frost, staff, E spells, all that kind of, all that fun stuff, like, like meteor, these things will be sped up by <laughs> Morgana Cape, so this thing got a hell of a lot more useful. I'm gonna tell you right now, the crossbow just got a hell of a lot more dangerous, man. This is insane. So, for those that don't know, let me show you the regular speed of a crossbow snipe. Well, okay, that's with the Morgana Cape, so now I'll show you the normal one. The normal crossbow snipe, look how long this takes. That is, oh god, that's painful, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go get me an 8.4 crossbow if they're ever on the damn market. I've been searching for about a month and I couldn't find one. But th this is, Mor like, Morgana Cape and 8.4 crossbow is gonna be insanely fun. You just run up to someone and snipe them. <laughs> Like, I just, wanna, I just wanna show you, we can also combine Scholar Robe's cast speed as well. So, let's say I'm on my faction mount and I do the faction mount dismount, I'm not faction flag right now. But uh, all I have to do is run up to a player, and then I just pop armor, pop E, and then it's boop, they're dead, they're down, they're dismounted, they're something, they're wounded. It's insane, it's nutty. 
Yeah, I think I just figured out an insta-kill build, so I'm going to post that to members only. If you want to become a channel member, there's a join button down below. Five bucks a month, just like on Twitch. When you subscribe to someone, you pay five bucks. Here on YouTube, it's channel memberships. This gets you access to private, more personal videos that are too good for the public, and I've just figured out something too good for the public. Undead Cape did receive a nerf. It is now only five seconds of invisibility instead of six. There's a few other changes, but I don't think they're worth mentioning in the video. If you want to see these patch changes for yourself, I'm going to show you how to get to them. All right, so uh, here we go. You go to albiononline.com, and then you go to community. You go to forum here at the top, and then you scroll down to the test server right here, and then you go to feedback test server, and then you go to test server patch notes nightfall midseason patch, and uh, we're going to just scroll past all that. So here's the coffers, the caches, uh, you know, the Nightfall Abbey thing, which I wasn't able to show you. All the new stuff. You can read all about it right here. It's really easy and quick to get to. Uh, hopefully some of you youngsters out there know how to use a basic internet forum. That's how we communicated before Facebook and MySpace and um, TikTok and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. Anyway, I'm Swole Bidgey. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Videos whenever I make them. Uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. And click the video on the right side of your screen. It's a juicy good one.